to today's vlog. Please excuse my voice. I am getting over um, some type of cold. I don't know. I don't really know what it is. It was like aches one day. I'm like not positive for like any of the common things. So it's just a cold. I had like aches one day and then now I just don't have voice. But <clears throat> I did say that I was going to show you guys how to make how I make my bread and I always keep forgetting. Today I'm actually doing a new recipe. I do not know how, like if I didn't follow a recipe, I couldn't just like come up with this on my own. So this is a, um, a honey wheat, um, like whole grain, like whole wheat bread. I use King Arthur baking flour, baking flour, wow. Baking flour, like the, their flour. I already have my yeast and stuff, I'll show it. So my yeast has already ri risen and there's um, a fourth cup of milk and warm water and then I just put the butter in. I'm about to put the salt in and I can link this recipe below if it turns out good. If it doesn't, then you're not, I'm not gonna link it. But this one actually calls for quite a bit of salt compared to the one that I normally use. We'll see how this goes. But. I am just starting it and now I'm gonna add the flour. Okay, and because I don't have a stand kitchen egg mixer yet, I just start off by using my handheld one just to get it kind of going and then I'll knead the rest by hand. So this is just with, it calls for three cups of flour, so this is with two cups of flour. And I'll add the other one in and then I'll knead it for about five to eight minutes, depending just whenever I know that it's about ready. And then we'll go from there. Now that it is in, like it's kneaded well, I am going to transfer it into this oiled uh, other mixing pan. You can use any type of oil. I use this avocado pure oil just to make sure that it doesn't stick to this bowl. And so I'm going to transfer it in there. And then it's just going to be wrapped up for about an hour to let it rise. Okay, so it has been an hour and... Dough has risen. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shape it into a loaf and it will go in my loaf pan. And then it will rise for another 30 to 40 minutes while the oven preheats. This is what it looks like in my pan. And again, I just use the same um, cooking spray to do it. And then I'm gonna cover it and preheat the oven to 350. I'm about to put it in the oven. It is risen. I actually let it rise for way longer than I needed to, but this is what it looks like. So I'm just going to let it, um, it's going to be in the oven for 40 minutes because I don't have a glass one. If it's a glass, it's like 30 to 40. And if it is a, a metal pan, it is 40 to 45 minutes. So we'll do 40 minutes and then I'll check it. And if it needs more time, then... I'll put more time on it. So, sorry that my voice is so raspy, <clears throat> but that is what I'm doing today. And here is the finished product. It looks so good. And my house smells amazing now. Welcome to the clean with me portion of the video. I hope this motivates you guys. I start off by cleaning Sophia's playroom. I typically try to clean the playroom at least every day, if not every other day, just because I, she gets very overwhelmed when things are so messy. I then move into her bedroom. I'm putting all of her stuffed animals into this hanging hammock, which I can link below. I got it off Amazon, and then I make her bed. Next, I hang these Mickey stickers. We're still obviously moving into her house, so I'm adding some decor to her walls. I ended up actually moving these to the closet because the wall is textured and they didn't stick as well, but I will link them below because they worked perfectly on smooth surfaces. Her closet is smooth, so they per work perfect there. Once I complete her room, I just give the floors a quick vacuum. And now I'm moving on to the kitchen. This is after dinner, so we have 
quite a bit of a mess, plus I had made bread earlier in the day, so everything is going to get a good wipe down. Our household products that we use are about 75% toxic free when it comes to surfaces. I use the Method Cleaner as well as the Thieves Cleaner and we use Method and Thieves both in our bathroom and on our countertops and we are working towards becoming more non-toxic. I ended up switching when I was trying to conceive our first baby and then carried on into when I was pregnant with Sophia and when she became an toddler and so on. This is just what works best for our family. Your family might be completely different. Eventually we would like to be 100% toxic free, but it's just baby steps at this point. Once we put Sophia down, I came back downstairs and swept off the floors. I was going to end up mopping, but ended up just not feeling the greatest at the end of this and decided just to call it a night. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope that you like this and I hope that you would like and subscribe and let me know if you like these videos.